So, I mean, according to the recent statement uh, from Aerospace Trainer, okay, <clears throat> he said that uh, Cal Brook would be the best opponent Crawford has ever fought. Let me, of course, take a look at the statement right here saying that, I quote, we are talking and all of a sudden Terence Crawford walks up. Um, James recalled during a recent interview with BoxingScene.com and they start talking about fighting. Terence Crawford was like, do you think you can make the weight? I think they're trying to fight at 147. Um, I think it should be a pretty interesting fight, James said. This would be the best fighter uh, that Terence Crawford has ever fought, without a doubt. I think Terence should be able to beat him, but you never know. We'll see because Ke Brook would be the best fighter he's ever fought. With that being said, it could possibly be more competitive than people think, but it just depends on Terence Crawford's ability, his strategy, and what he, what he does. I know he's a great athlete, a great fighter, so I'm thinking he should get him, but I'm going for Team USA anyway. <laughs> I mean, why Why is it that <clears throat> um, Errol Spence, okay, Errol Spence, um, when it comes to fighting Terrence Crawford, they're like trying to use some, some, bring up some other fighters just kind of, to, to kind of save face, you know? Like, why are they always like trying to cover up when, when it comes to fighting Terrence Crawford? Like now he's saying, oh, uh, 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 uh Kev Brook will be the best opponent for Crawford. We just want to see Crawford air Spence. That's the biggest fight in that division, you know. So I, I don't understand why uh, the fight is not getting made. But what's your, what's your take on uh, on uh, the statement uh, from uh, Errol Spence, um, trainer, bro? <clears throat> Hello, Jide. Oh, hello. See, yeah. Um, number one, to be honest, I don't know why they're not putting up the fight, Spencer and um, Crawford. But I don't know why they're not. Because obviously, what you should be busy talking about is Crawford and Spencer's, right? But I don't know why they not. I think they've tr every time they try to talk about it, it collapse on that. But. Well, Kel Brook and um, Crayford. Well, obviously, I believe all eyes, in a way, again, I think it's more of a 50 50, but I think Crayford will have a bit more edge. Crayford will have a bit more edge, but the truth is, talking about this to me, to me personally, my own opinion, is not what I really want to talk about. Poor Crayford and Spencer's. Let's see. Let's see what I'm going to see exactly what happened. You know what I mean? That's what, that's what the fans are kind of like looking for. But, you know, like, you boxing fans say and that, now you boxing nations and that, boxing casters and that, what you say is, the fight you want to see in boxing is not something you ever see. You know, so, you know, this is not something I really genuinely want to even talk about that, because he knows in himself the fight people were craving for, calling for is Spencer Crawford. Why? What's the delay in that? Why are you trying to bring in someone else and make it look, you know, whatever, whatever it is? But he has his personal reason now. But on that part, obviously, if everyone knows one thing, like, your life is probably going to be on, you know, Crayford and that and that. But is that what we really want to see? No. Nah. So for me, it's not something that craves me like that and that. So yeah, I just leave it there. It does make sense to me, I'm not going to lie. Yeah, man, you're right, bro. Um, Tajagwe, your quick take on this. Uh, good, good. I always, you know, I always felt like we should talk more about uh, some other uh, opponents in the uh, other than the heavyweight division. So I like this opportunity. Um, Kel Brook, I've never, I was never impressed with his uh, with his resume. Anyways, um, the only person I read that that I can acknowledge that he actually beat was on was only uh, was Sean Porter. Um, uh, I don't, I, I never, I never really uh, took a liking into Kel, uh, Kel Brook anyways. I never thought he was that good. 
Um, he did beat uh, Michael Zarafa, the guy's the guy who beat Jeff Horn, I believe, and then Jeff Horn beat him again. Um, I, 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 those two caliber opponents, I was impressed with. If if it, if he fights Terence Crawford, Terence that it would be good. It would be good for Terence Crawford because Ter- I know Terence Crawford gets the job done, and with the level of opponents, uh, Kell Brook can never can never step up. He's he's always he's he's always lacking, and he's always going to be losing to a better opponent such as such as um uh Ter- Ter- Terence Crawford, even if he fights uh. If if he fights the other guy that uh, Crawford wants to fight that you guys just named, he's gonna lose to him. And any, any of uh, any of the opponents of uh, of a much uh, of an elite caliber status, Kell Brook is always gonna lose to because he doesn't have he just doesn't have it. You know, even if he's if he even if he uh, goes and goes and uh, starts training with um with uh with this uh with this retired uh, um I forgot his name. There's a uh, the legendary boxer, not legendary. Uh, the uh, the guy that I lost so, uh, some time ago to. Um, I wish I remember, but I can't remember. But he's training with him. I don't think it's gonna make a difference. You know, Kell Brook is always gonna be Kell Brook. He's no, he's no, he's not gonna. He's not, he's not gonna step up to it. And that's what it is, man. And that's where I'm gonna end it. Thanks, brother. I appreciate your contribution, and it's always nice to have you guys here. And uh, for those of you guys who are watching right now, like the video, share, subscribe, and as well, give you a take below. Don't forget that, guys. Be blessed. Cheers.